What if I told you that electric vehicles, the very solution we've been told will save the planet, might soon be banned or heavily restricted in certain places? Sounds crazy, right? But stick with me, because what's unfolding behind the scenes might just change everything you thought you knew about EVs. Hey everyone, welcome back to Techie Tales. Today we're diving into the unexpected reasons why EVs, yes, electric vehicles, might face bans, regulations, or outright pushback much sooner than anyone predicted. Let's break it down. For years, EVs have been sold as the green alternative, zero emissions, clean energy, future-proof. But here's the thing. Most EVs are charged using electricity from coal or gas. Battery production is resource-hungry, lithium, cobalt, and nickel mining is damaging environments and affecting vulnerable communities. Some countries are already rethinking EV adoption targets. Take Germany. It recently cut EV subsidies because the cost outweighed the benefits. And California? New energy demands are straining power grids. So while the idea of EVs is green, the reality is a bit messy. Eh? Now let's talk about energy. If every car went electric tomorrow, our grids would crash. EVs draw massive power, especially during peak times. In the UK and US, experts warn the infrastructure can't cope without major upgrades. Some cities are already delaying charger installations due to energy constraints. What happens when your clean car becomes a burden to national energy? EVs are clean when driving, but what about when they die? Most EV batteries are not recyclable at scale. Disposing of them is a toxic, expensive problem. Some nations, like Sweden and Japan, are beginning to draft laws to limit EV battery dumping. And if this becomes global, EV manufacturers will face restrictions, or worse, bans. Here's where it gets even more complicated. Over 70% of cobalt used in EV batteries comes from the DRC, where child labor and unsafe mining are still reported. China controls a massive share of the rare earth market and battery manufacturing. Governments are now seeing this as a national security threat. There are whispers of future laws to reduce dependency on EV battery materials, which might mean halting or banning EV imports altogether. You might be wondering, is this just speculation? Well, the EU is already reviewing environmental impacts of EV production versus lifetime emissions. Norway, the world's EV leader, is seeing pushback from citizens over road taxes and battery recycling. In the US, rural states are lobbying against forced EV transitions. It's not a question of if pushback happens, it's a matter of how fast. Electric vehicles aren't going anywhere just yet. But the narrative is shifting. From energy strain to ethical concerns, EVs may soon face the same fate as the very combustion cars they were meant to replace. So the next time someone says EVs are the future, ask, who's future? If you found this eye-opening, hit the like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments, do you think EVs should be re-evaluated? Or is this just growing pain on the road to progress? Thanks for watching Techie Tales, where the truth behind tech always gets told.